there would be no duty on equipment and material for construction of your home. There'll be no real property tax. Today I'm going to show you why investing in low income neighborhoods is always better than investing in high income neighborhoods. First, the double edged sword of urban revival. Even as some cities are becoming ever more popular and desirable, they're also becoming places where the middle class and lower income residents are getting priced out of the market. There'll be no real property tax. I want y'all take a look at that sign up there. See what it says? Cash for your home? There would be no business license. Woodstock is close to Cape Town's famous Table Mountain and is considered an up-and-coming area. Its landmark buildings are being renovated by property developers, old houses too. A new, wealthier type of person is moving in to frequent its new, trendy cafes. There would be no duty on equipment and material for construction of your home or expansion of your homes. It's called gentrification. It's what happens when the property value of a certain area is brought down. To bring the property value down, they can buy the land at a lower price. Then they move all the people out, raise the property value, and sell it at a profit. You're doing exactly what they want you to do. You have to think, young brother, about your future. We would remove that or bread basket item. 58 minutes flat! Back to Egypt, I promise you. Investing in low income neighborhoods is always better than investing in high income neighborhoods. Will you join us the next election?